Adam, welcome to the Outcast. Uh, thanks so much for 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 joining us and being our our, uh, our business guinea pig for today. Before we get into it, would you just give us a little bit of an introduction to to who you are, and what you do? Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I'm Adam Smith. I work um, as a creative director in Edinburgh at an agency called The Gate. And um, we do marketing um, and we like to think we do it the right way. Everyone's got an opinion on what the right way is. We start strategically, we try to understand, position your brand and then do whatever needs to happen after that once you've worked out the thinking that needs to happen at the start. Um, so we take a pretty um, growing up sort of effectiveness led approach to, to it. But ultimately I'm a creative, I grew up making daft things for people because I'm good at putting odd things together and it's still making sense. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of a creative in a grown-up world. Cool. So it's good. I mean, I have to say, like, take take your kind of rational approach and your and your strategic thinking and chuck out the window for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, this is all about putting daft things together. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll get started. I'll bring up the random idea generator and then let's see what comes up with. And again, no doubt it'll have cats in it. This idea generator loves cats and taxes um so yeah right Ta taxes that. taxes yeah or okay. yeah it's got it's got a definite thing like um, i'm gonna have to find a new one is it do you think it's actually a, a, a government tool for seeing who's not paying their taxes and we just get them to talk about things loosely get them to loosen up their minds a little bit and they'll just come out you just say i've not paid my taxes in five years do you know it's, it's definitely it's definitely um the user experience is probably on, on par with uh, a government website, so you might be onto something. Um, <laughs> there you go, man. Can can you see the 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 random idea generator? Yeah, amazing. Right, okay. So the rules are three rules. At the end of three rules, we're stuck, no matter what. So let's get this ball rolling. So a paid delivery service for large enterprises. Uh, anything at all grabbing your interest there? Um, I mean, it sounds super dull. They all sound like just real things. But I guess a paid, a paid delivery service. When would a delivery service not be paid? That's um, true. A paid delivery. I guess you, you could pay someone to take things that they don't want. But again, that's pretty normal as well. So yeah, just let's screw that. Okay, so complete reroll. Right, let's go. For yeah. It. A, per <laughs> a personal wealth management service for truck drivers. Anything there? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Nice contrast there. Truck drivers, wealth management. They sound cool. Let's do that. So, do you want to hold wealth management and truck drivers? I'm happy to hold them all, unless it's going to throw in a cat or something in the first one. I'm happy to hold them all. Amazing. Well, okay, let's 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 do it then. So, I'm going to just write this down because I will forget. So, a personal. Wealth management. Amazing right now. Back to us. Cool. So we have a business. Uh, we are starting up a personal wealth management service for truck drivers. Uh, okay, so I suppose first off we need to kind of like, the, you know, the how, what and the why, you know, so why are we starting out a wealth management service for truck drivers? Why do they need us? All right. I mean, truck drivers are, they're on the road. They're, they're the cowboys of the modern world thinking about what life could be. So they're probably spending hours a day thinking about their purpose. So, I mean, they're, they're either just happy where they are, they just like trucking and getting away from everything, or they are saving hard for that future. Uh, they're probably not like beach guys. They're probably, I don't know, feet up on the, feet up on the balcony, the cold beer, watching the sunset. That's Maybe looking after their kids. I don't know. Maybe they don't have kids because they're on the road. Maybe they do have kids and that's why they're on the road. Maybe they've got lots of kids because they're on the road. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? There's exactly, lots of little yeah. truckers out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but also, um, 
they, they're not they're not living a normal lifestyle. They're not like, oh, just nip to the bank. They are on the road. So they're, they're around the world. So there's a need for them to have a different type of service. Um, and potentially they're doing lots of side deals on the go. So their their money is probably slightly secretive. They'll have their day job, but they fill 90% of the truck and then they'll have some stowaways, some, I don't know, they're transporting goldfish or something. It's diverse. So, yeah. Um, I also like the idea that they're thinking about their purpose a lot, you know, this idea that they don't have a picture of, um, of actually it's just a picture of Simon Sinek's Golden Circle in their cab. <laughs> Just staring at, staring at the why the whole time they're driving, going, I can't figure this one out. Um, With the well, GPS just constantly targeted on their purpose. <laughs> yeah. Going forward. Well, the other two bits don't count, they don't matter. Uh, just your purpose. Um, I like the idea, by the way, so I'm now skipping ahead already to kind of slogans, but I like the idea of making their money as mobile as they are, you know, because as you said, they're constantly on the move. Uh, yeah. they're, they're kind of, their lives are kind of probably ever changing so they need a, a wealth management system that moves at the same pace that they do right um yeah that, that's my take. I, I don't know how this works by the way we've not got quite that far yet but i, I like that i like the the kind of the tagline so far <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe they get like um, an ai travel partner with them and they just you know they, they chat about life and finances as they go I like it. So it's, 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 okay. So we've now we've now went on to we're not just helping them with their money, we do help them find their purpose in life through chats with their AI partner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to, It's all it's all tied together. Your your finances is tied with every life choice you make. So you you're you're in the the, the diner. You're about to order the greasiest thing on the menu, and your your little wealth manager says, "You know, you could just you you've already saved a bit for your pension. Are you sure you want to have that triple decker um, burger? Because you might take ten years off your life, and you wasted a slice of your money there. That you've already paid into. Returns are coming in good. Have a coffee. Try the low calorie vegan alternative, and I don't know. Save a few bucks. Enjoy the money." Nothing terrifies me more than the idea of a vegan alternative at a greasy spoon diner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like here, it's literally just a, a, a raw pepper with some cold rice in it. Uh, he just rubs it in his eyes and gets back on the road. <laughs> yeah. I didn't enjoy that at all. What about this then as well? If we're thinking about it, so truck driving, probably quite a dirty industry. You know they're 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 pumping a diesel. Maybe these guys, as they're staying at their their Simon Sinek circle, and they're thinking, do you know what? What I really want to do is help save the planet. We could also help them to to find maybe ways to invest in uh, kind of green initiatives, so that they can offset their guilty conscience when when it comes to driving around. Yeah, or maybe they. Um, they, they sponsor small businesses or causes that they find on the road. They're like the traveling, they remember the little hobo who went round mm -hmm. and saved people as he moved from place to place. So they're like that, they're like um, venture capitalists with their, their savings in, in this very little scheme and they just go along going, that guy in the corner, he needs a grand to start up. That cafe woman, she's got a dream. <laughs> and he just keeps on going. So he's investing his, his wealth, wealth, in um, little businesses as he goes and eventually he becomes top of a massive business empire on every route he's ever traveled and wherever he goes he gets a wave and a wink and a free coffee i, I, I don't know about you but um i'm now in love with the romanticism of being a truck driver uh this sounds like a fantastic life that we've described i'm not sure how accurate it is uh, brexit might put a stop to it it's just gone back and forward to, to, to dover Amazing. Right, okay, cool. So we, we, we've kind of got some, some big ideas there. So it's a way for uh, kind of truck drivers to, to make responsible choices with their money um, and, as you said, maybe invest in kind of, you know, like be, be a miniature venture capitalist as they go on the route. So how do you think we're going to, um, how, how are we going to do this? What, what's the practicalities? I mean, are we, is it going to be a website or do we have, uh, is, is it going to be app based? Because we talked about an AI companion. So is it going to be, you know, um, done on, on, on their phones or how, how do you think it looks? Yeah, I mean, it, it needs to be hands-free or, I mean, I, I've always got this image whenever I think about truck drivers, two images. Uh, one is Yorkie adverts, 
from my childhood. And the other one is that Sylvester Stallone film, um, Over the Top, where he's an arm wrestling truck driver. So he drives along the road, but whilst he's driving his truck, he's got one arm pumping weights. And then he, he, wherever he stops, he arm wrestles for money and just keeps on rolling. So, is this a uh, real film or was this one of these things? I know this sounds like a dream morning. I had, but no, it's a real film. I, I, need, I need to hunt this down and watch it. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds incredible. Um, yeah. And yes, yeah, so, so it, it needs to be a kind of hands free AI thing. Um, but you can target truck, dri- truck drivers relatively easily, I would have thought, because they, they do go to certain places. They have weigh in spots, they have uh, cafes, and they've got friggin' great trucks that you can spot on the go. True. Actually, we could even pay some of them to advertise the app on the side of the truck because you know they've got the canvas thing. Yeah. Don't know why yeah. not. But we go, we go, I want to go back to this film, right? I mean, out of all the things we've talked about, that's the most intriguing thing. Um, <laughs> have you ever seen a film called Johnny Mnemonic? Uh, I've seen it, but so long ago that I can't remember it. You're lucky. I um, I watched that again the other weekend. Thinking, you know, I was on a kind of a Keanu Reeves. Uh, you know, I was enjoying that wave because I'm going to watch The Matrix again. Yeah. And I thought, oh, do you know, the, this came out a year before. I was like, oh, I wonder if this is any good. It's not genuinely awful. It felt like one of those kind of fever dream uh, films where I woke up the next day going, was that real? Um, and I kind of feel well, like the Sylvester Stallone films are going to be similar. Yeah, I mean, it's a really odd concept. It's basically Stallone's kind of looking around for a world where he can lift weights whilst doing something else and go truck drivers. Uh, I don't know. I mean, um, so I never quite understood, or certainly don't remember, what the mnemonic bit has got to do with Johnny. What has he got a special power? Or yeah, I okay, get this. I mean, he, he can hold up to I think 160 gigabytes of of, of raw information in his head. So he okay. he. You know the year. I think the year is twenty twenty one. You know they got it really close, um, and they, they, they physically almost traversed the internet. And um, at one point, there's a dolphin attached to a radar, and it melts uh, Dolph Lundgren, who's some weird preacher. It's you know it's one of these films that they went. I think that when they wrote the when they wrote it, they were going and then and then <laughs> and then. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. It, it makes no sense. So I encourage anyone, for the three people who are, wa- who are watching this, go and watch it, um, and you can share in my pain. Anyway, back to what we yeah, built. I will have to watch it now. You've just wasted two hours of my life. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We hate you, Jake. Never recommend a film again. Um, <laughs> cool. So, okay, so we're thinking about promotion then. Let's go a wee bit deeper into the targeting, because apparently we're both marketing professionals. Mm. Um so we talked about they're probably quite easy to target these people do go to similar places uh, they probably encounter similar things any other ways you think we can um target them I and mean, it feels a little bit too easy just now um they are yeah I suppose we we could there. There's queues outside Dover, I believe, Calais. <laughs> so we can just walk up and down. We don't need to be um, digital geniuses here. We can just go and stick a sticker on some trucks while they're waiting. <laughs> Do you know? I, I love that as well, right? Um, I, I'm a big fan of kind of old school uh, delivery channels. I think you know it's we we live in the in, you know in the digital digital first age, you know. Um, where people are more obsessed with how you deliver the information than than what you're actually delivering, uh, but I, I do like the idea of you know why not just walk up to these guys and hand them flyer. Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah. Get, st- give them a sandwich with a sticker on it. Happy yeah. days. Yeah, they, they, they were loving it. I mean, what, what about this as well? I mean, I can imagine it's a bit of a solitary life, kicking about in, in a truck. To kind of go back on what I just said, we, we could almost introduce a, some sort of social element. So, you know, maybe like a GPS, a Bluetooth thing, so that if someone else is on this app and they're close by, huh, you know, you, you could meet up with them. There's, you know, so we could have that kind of that social interaction as well. As... Yeah, it, it could be like a traveling dragon's den, just to go back to that sort of VC element of it, where you go, well, I'll, I'll go in on this business if 
uh, snowman in the other truck goes 50 50 with me and he goes like on there so you can partner up and, uh, yeah. and make a uh, mini cab yeah. conglomerate yeah. but you got to bring skills to it i guess as well as money which is what they do mm. in the dragon's den so i don't know what skills your truck drivers would bring apart from knowledge life skills gained on the road and being That's incredibly it. um derogatory to truck drivers now i love you guys <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wonder. I wonder what percentage of uh, or uh, of our demographics that watch this will be truck drivers. I imagine it's probably quite high. Um, at, least, <laughs> <laughs> at least fifty percent. Do you know what? That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a truck driver on LinkedIn. Mm. Mm. So, by the way, if you heard that noise, that's my cat. He's just walked in and he's wondering why he's not in a random generator this week. I was yeah. promised <laughs> that the computer <laughs> said that cats would be in there. <laughs> cool man okay so right okay so we, we've kind of got a bit of a business model um we've got marketing channels how how do we more importantly how do we make our money um because we're unashamedly capitalist um so yeah at the very least you're going to want a little logo a mark a little sticker to do it um you'll want that little ai um service Someone's going to have to build that. Um, we'll need a nice little voice, shan't be mine. Um, uh, a, wise, a wise female companion guiding them on their, their life journey as they um, come across business opportunities that works out the um, potential investment ratio for them, potential returns, but also maybe gives them the emotional return on it as well. You know, you can expect to see 10, maybe a 6% return in your cash but compared to some other investments, help investing in this little old lady's knitting business is going to give you a 9% feel good factor. Weigh up those pros and cons. So we need, we need a logo which is a little bit emotional, but a little bit hard as well. Wise and wealthy. Nice. I like Trucky. It. <laughs> trucky, is it? <laughs> I don't know if I've seen anything. That's that's really trucky. That. Yeah. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, so, what about? Do you think we take a? Do we take a commission for for every transaction as well that that goes on with it, with this app? Are we are we taking a bit of a cut? Well, then you're encu- yeah. That's positive, I suppose. I was going to say yeah. Then you're encouraging them to make deals, but that's good. They should make deals if they see a good opportunity. They should do it. So yeah, and I guess would the receiving a partner the businesses would they is there something that we could like a brand extension that we can flip onto that side as well so it's the, so the truck drivers have their side of it and the businesses have i don't know maybe they get 10 uh, percent off trucking so we become their truck suppliers whenever they sign up with this business we have we get the contracts for their truck suppliers so while they go well, we're building our own business we could also do a thing so to make it even easier for for the truck drivers to to find out these investment options, right? There could be a kind of a potential portfolio list that just comes up with all the initiatives that have come to us and said, "Look, we're looking for investment. We fit in with your uh, requirements." So then, actually, the guys can come straight on the app and go, "Oh, uh, Margaret's Ming and Diner is looking for a, a one thousand pound cash injection." Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I, I eat there all the time. Um, and, and maybe um, the the people who want investments, maybe they they go to the cafes, or maybe they they go to the diners, the roadside diners, or they invite the truckies to their houses. I see you're going through Wolverhampton or wherever, somewhere more exotic, Monte Carlo. Come and stop by my house. I'll make you a meal, and I'll pitch you my business idea. So the truck drivers have a nice kind of um, social and eating experience as they go as well do you know what i love is it we seem to be solving a lot of problems here um, <laughs> <laughs> okay cool well, one thing we don't have yet is a name we don't have a name for the service um what are you thinking um it has to be something I've got a name yet. My, my, the first thing i wrote down when we started talking was keep on trucking so i think it's like a it's keep on trucking for your money. Keep your money trucking. But naming, um, I need some trucking puns. 16 wheelers. Wheeling and dealing. It's not exactly the professional name I was going for, but. 
<laughs> we do them on professional thing. Um, <laughs> what we want is distinctive. Well, why don't we call it 16 wheeling and dealing? There we go. We, we smashed yeah. in an extra fun. Excellent. Everyone loves it. I mean, it's now an obtusely long name as well. <laughs> 16 wheeling. But I bet the URL's free. <laughs> Imagine if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Once you go on, you go, someone saw this already? Yeah, you need to go back to your Outcast podcast and just check how many of these are actually big businesses now. Oh, do you know what's funny? I, there was one, um, and it was to do with a, like cats, funnily enough. It was something to do with a cat meetup, and I did a wee bit of digging, and actually someone had done something very, very similar, and I was like, they either watched it and went, that's cracking, um, or they just had a genuinely bad idea and did it <laughs> <laughs> that's what you know i don't know about you but I, I find that with a lot like I, I tend to overthink everything right i could have the best business idea in the world and then i'd sit on it for years and go i don't know i'm a bit risk adverse and then you just get other folk who go i had an idea i'm just i'm just gonna do it totally. yeah and the thing is I, i'm the same as you I'll, I'll 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 sit on it until i think it's perfect but what it should do is just take that first step and you take the first step and you go well actually if i just change that a little bit and it'll mm-hmm. actually work and you take another step and you go oh hang on I've just changed that a little bit and that might work or something totally new pops out of it that's just better than what you started with so yeah I do agree it's just do it and then we end up doing it for other people like so just now we're, we're, we're taking we're taking an idea and we're, we're giving it to the world and someone will take this absolutely viable desirable business <laughs> and uh, turn it into reality Completely solved package ready to hit the road literally yeah, exactly um, cool man. So right, company. It's called Sixteen Wheeling and Dealing. What, what were we thinking? Tagline. We need. I, I do think we need a, a beautiful. Well, I was just going to go and um, keep your finances trucking, but actually, that's that's only half the story now because it's actually more of a VC business now than just a straightforward wealth management vehicle. No pun intended. Um, maybe that's where the name comes from. Um, your Nah. So now we've got to get in all the sides of the equation that we've grandly thrown in for ourselves. Mm. So there's the venture capitalist, there's the charity sort of doing good, there's the companionship, and there's your own money in it. So it's got to be something just fairly vague, I guess, to cover all that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like just something overarching and actually possibly something as crass as our name. Uh, I think if we came up with something that was... um, nice and refined and and uh yeah it would it would be at odds so i, I don't know i think something that goes along the lines of you know the 16 wheeling and dealing something of that that vibe um, um keep the world moving keep on every every truck stops every truck stops an opportunity there's gold on them their roads. Do you, I, I, I like the every truck stops an opportunity purely because uh, it's so bad. Um, it just it just it just fits in really nicely, um, and also seems a bit seedy. You know, if someone saw that <laughs> <laughs> saw that tagline, they might go, "This looks like the app for me." The um, grinder for truckers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is what grinder is. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're straying into some odd territory. We're, we're, I don't think we can add that into the wealth management side as well. Um, <laughs> look, however, they want to use the social aspect of this web of this app, up to them. Um, so every, every, <laughs> every truck stops an opportunity. I like it. Cool. And so I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna just kind of go through what we've got. So we're building uh, a, a personal wealth management service for truck drivers. It's going to be called 16 Wheeling and Dealing. The tagline being that every truck stop <laughs> is an opportunity. What that opportunity is, is entirely up to you. Um, so we're, we're going to build an app. It's going to have an AI companion that, that gives truckers advice on how to spend their money, how to invest it, to think about trying other forms of food aside from greasy burgers which is always good because we want to keep these people alive uh, for as long as possible there's also the look at can we help them offset their their carbon footprint by putting them uh, basically in touch with green initiatives 
And then along their routes, they're going to come up against companies like, you know, the Greasy Spoons and, and individuals who, who want some quick cash investment. And we're going, to, we're going to combine these people or get these people together using this app. Um, anything, anything I've missed? Oh, apart from that, yes, we're taking a cut. We do need, we're making some money here. Um, so we're going to take a cut of the finances. So I guess we would be doing the branding for all the companies that they um, helped get off the ground. Ooh, so every company yeah. they left, we get a business out of. I can't um, wait to do branding for the 85th Greasy Spoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, um, no, I, mean, I like how you managed to sell that with a straight face, though. It came across quite well, like a genuine proposition. I, I don't know what you mean. It is a genuine proposition. You know, anyone, <laughs> anyone that's watching this, you know, if you want to invest, um, go, go, go right ahead. Uh, <laughs> I did have really idea long we... in <laughs> I did, I've got another idea for, for how we can market though. And I don't think anyone's ever done this before, right? So truck drivers, they love to toot the horn, right? How about, so if, 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 if we get guys who, who, who are really into this app, we can, we can modify their horn so it plays our, our jingle. So instead of being like toot toot, you know, when they go back, I don't know what the jingle would be. It'd have to be short and snappy, but you know, that's a winner. I hope that's what you were going to say. I like it. Good. <laughs> I'm, I, know, I thought I'd just come in at 11th hour with an absolute wild card marketing <laughs> idea. Um, that is one of your three in the morning ideas where you wake up and go, either genius or I need to go back to sleep. Um, we'll find out. But anyway, man, it has been an absolute pleasure. What we'll do eventually um, is we will brand this up. And we'll make it look like a real business, so you can come on, uh, come on our website and actually see what sixteen wheeling and dealing would look like as as, as a real business. Um, can I get a cap and a t-shirt, sleeveless t-shirt, please, made up? Of, well, obviously, I mean, you would be a truck driver if you had sleeves. <laughs> Again, we might, might be offending actual truck drivers now, so apologies. I also need fake tan for one arm. Yeah, and one really jacked arm because obviously you're going to go down a Sylvester Stallone route of just like yeah, yeah. <laughs> sitting pumping iron with one hand. Yeah, I'll also be pulling that horn all the time, so it'll be pretty pumped. And also, what I like about that is you won't be able to drive anywhere because both your hands are occupied. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you're steering your truck. We screwed our own business. <laughs> yeah. How did it fail? Everyone crashed, right? Because they were too busy pumping iron and pulling the horn. Um, anyway. Before we totally ruin our, our totally feasible business, Adam, been a pleasure. Let's do this again soon. Catch you later, man. <laughs>